What's up everyone? I'm going to review what Edgy Wedge eats in a day. Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a what I eat in a day, but we're going to do a day where I work out and what I eat kind of, you know, throughout the day on a day that I'm pretty physically active, but also the things that I'm having before, during and after. If somebody said that she's in her early 40s, it would be believable. Late 30s? Absolutely, that's how she looks like. She's 31. It's crazy. So yeah, come with me. We're gonna have a fun time. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. This is my French press. It's how I make my coffee. But I already had mine. This is for everybody else. So I drank my coffee. I try to do lemon water first thing in the morning, but some days I just need my coffee first thing in the morning. So other days I will just... Yes, all of the addicts need their coffee because it produces stress hormones and gives them energy. That's what they call it. Of course, it's not actual energy. And that's because they can't produce any of their own actual energy. It's very typical among vegans. Just drink my coffee and then make my lemon water. Literally, it's it's squeeze of lemon in, into water and then you drink it. It's very easy. <laughs> I find that the lemon water along with the coffee just gets my system going and it helps me with my morning movement. So that's mm -hmm. why I like to do it. Do Makes absolute sense. If you want. I just like the taste of lemon, that's all. And I do this um, before I brush my teeth. Otherwise I find that my teeth are pretty sensitive. So if I'm having lemon after I've brushed all the crap off my teeth from the night before, it just like makes them kind of sensitive. So if you like would eat meat, then you wouldn't have anything emails, left on your if I don't teeth. Get eating right away, but I do have a workout, so I need to get moving on my breakfast. All right, a typical breakfast that I have almost, I would say almost every day, if not every two days, is uh, steel cut oats and fruit. That way I can just throw this in the microwave and then add everything else fresh on top. And what I add on top kind of just depends on what I have in my fridge. If I have kiwis in my fridge that day, I'll add that. If I have bananas, if I have raspberries, if I have strawberries, blueberries. I always have Ugh. a scoop of natural peanut butter. I like the crunchy one. You of guys course. Know me, like I'm all about texture. And the reason why I don't like traditional oatmeal is because it's kind of like barfy texture. <laughs> So then you get some crunch there. A little bit of maple syrup just for a little bit of sweetness. Then I just top it with whatever dairy-free milk that is just like plain unsweetened that I have in the fridge. Today I have almond, um, so I'm using that. Sometimes it's soy, sometimes it's oat. It just kind of depends. And then I'll just top it with nuts and seeds, which I keep in my freezer and I haven't grabbed yet. Again, another vegan who says dairy-free milk. What is this? Meat free meat also doesn't make any sense at all. Milk comes from animals, that's it. There's no such thing as dairy free milk. You imitate milk because you crave it, but then just admit it. The meal is useless, it has no nutrients to speak of. The oats are fiber and some sugar, bananas the same, the peanut butter is lectins and aflatoxins. She uses it because she craves animal fat, obviously. More fiber and sugar. It's nothing. Right. It's diabetes in a bowl. I'm really just using the steel cut oats as a vehicle to eat a tablespoon of peanut butter. Really like traditional oatmeal at all. I found that if I wasn't eating breakfast like two hours before, I was dead tired during the workout. Now I eat breakfast, which also means that I've gained some weight. Um, because I usually was intermittently fasting until like noon. The amount of calories in this breakfast, I mean, it's pretty substantial, but high in protein and high in good carbs, which means that when I go work out later, I will be able to like repair my muscles faster and help my recovery. I can't fit it in my pants anymore, so. And it's not a bad thing, actually. It started to scare me at first, but. I don't get her logic what protein is in this meal. Technically, there is some uh, protein, but what they call protein are anti-nutrients which hide the amino acids. Gluten, for example, is a protein in wheat, but it's not digestible. Yet the vegans would say, I got this much protein today, but they don't because they don't digest any of it. I'm actually fine with it. I also find that I'm sleeping a lot better, which is amazing because I've suffered with insomnia for like 20 years. So now I'm exhausted 
by like 10 and I go to sleep. It's helped me deal with my anxiety a lot. Exercise is just so good for your brain. <laughs> so I feel like I can handle my anxiety a lot better than I could say like a year ago. Yeah, and I mean, when I say it's that- It's good that you admit your health issues. That I, we know it did kind of freak me out at first when I started gaining weight and I feel healthier now than I did, let's say when I was like super thin. And that was definitely because you know, I did have a lot of like body dysmorphia and I wasn't eating properly. I mean, you just kind of have to- Glad that you changed that. Makes your body feel good and being, you know, the weight that I am now, feeling stronger. Got some protein. Yeah. Hi, friend. Hi. chocolate all right lunch time my breakfasts are pretty big so my lunches are pretty small because also my dinners tend to be like more calorie dense so i like to just throw together like a soup or a sandwich or an avocado toast and today i'm really craving the avocado and i have this big giant guy right here so i'm just going to make you crave avocado because you burned your body fat tomato. and it's not going to replace it i have to use this it's just plant oils fridge. and then i have these simulated bacon bits <laughs> i have no meat and then i also have this queen bee cajun seasoning which is my favorite salt pepper garlic so i like to just like kind of mash it and then pile it on top and kind of mash it down. Talk about flaws in design. See how tiny those holes are? See how big these pieces are? That makes no sense. And just... A typical meat replacement meal. All of the vegans do it. Bread in general used to be the food for the slaves who didn't have meat. They used to put red sauces over it or anything that in some way imitates meat. And she's doing the same. She has the bread. She craves animal fat, as I said, so she has the avocado. And then, of course, the bacon bits, which makes it completely obvious. Come on there, the tomato. And just... Again, no nutrients at all. A little bit of the spice. <laughs> of course. A couple more bacon bits. Yeah, yeah. What's not to like? It's crunchy toast, creamy avocado. Salty bacon and bits. something red to imitate meat and blood. Yeah. Bacon bits do add a little bit of smokiness, which is nice. I'm gonna mm. do some work, and then I'll see you for probably dinner. Absolute mental illness. Unless I eat something before that, but usually between now and dinner, I don't really eat anything. So for dinner, I do like to have something a little bit heavier. I have these Beyond Meat burgers in my fridge. They need to get eaten, so. I'm gonna cook up those. When I make my burgers, I like to add- Just admit that you crave meat burgers. and stop this. And I'm getting my like vegetables, if you will. You guys know that I love burgers. So that kind of gets my like cravings in. Um, so I don't feel like I'm restricting any food on days like today or ever in my life. I just kind of like to eat intuitively. So I- If you admit that you like burgers, then you absolutely admit that you want to eat meat. <laughs> That's where burgers come from. They didn't used to be vegan as it is nowadays. It's spreading everywhere. It is pretty plant-based, usually 70 to 80% plants, the grains, lettuce, and whatnot. A little bit of it is meat and maybe cheese, but still, that's why you want burgers. That's why everybody wants to eat burgers. It's just socially accepted. I love burgers, so I'm gonna eat me a burger. So I just have some Brussels sprouts here. I'll just boil them and then roast them with some, um, today I think I'm going to do tamari, olive oil, maple syrup. Oh, that's a fun sound. Some red, nice. tomatoes, ketchup. And then, burger. And then, after that. You make it too obvious. What I like to do is then put the greens because then. You must live in complete the denial. From the bun <laughs> and the heat from the burger is, I don't know why. Listen, Bob from Bob's Burgers puts the lettuce and tomato on the top, and I agree with the lettuce. Honestly, I'm the happiest when I'm eating a burger. Wow, severe mental illness, absolutely. And the Brussels sprouts are pretty much unrecognizable. She cooked them to death. That's what all of the vegans do because they hate the taste of the plants. Who wants to eat raw Brussels sprouts? Now, of course, you cook them until they don't taste as green anymore. And then you add a lot of spices or sauces. And by green, I mean the toxins, of course. Mm. So 
so good. Forget, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm not a nutritionist. I just mm. kind of eat what feels right for me. So let me know in the comments right. section below if there's something that works out really well for you. You say that you eat what feels right for you, but you eat meat imitations. Obviously, you want to eat meat, so you don't eat what feels right for you whatsoever. You also wouldn't have these weight issues if you ate meat. It's all the carbs that are messing you up. Plants don't have over 50 nutrients, and this is why you imitate animal foods all day long. You want those nutrients, you're starving. It doesn't matter if you gain fat or not, because the micronutrients are still missing. This is why people overeat on a lot of junk, which are, for the most part, carbs. It's the same reason pregnant women get fat. It's not normal, but it happens when you're craving a lot of micronutrients which are not in their diets. If they would eat some liver, then they wouldn't overeat on carbs. It's the same reason she has the issues. Thanks for watching.